Hey folks, Ashley here with you at allthingsentry.com. Just sitting at the lab bench. Um, I'm figuring out that it's easier to use a Deniform to talk about some of the things I want to talk about. So today is, uh, we're going to make a provisional um, FTP on the lower right. And what I want to show you is one of the ways you can make a, uh, a provisional stent, a stent for making a provisional, is to use a triple trade. You can take putty and roll it. You can do a whole lots of things, many things. But one of the things using a triple tray is this is what my experience has been in 10 years. You load it up full of your your final impression material, get them to bite down, and look what happens. They're not biting on it properly. My fault. So what you need to do, I mean, it's just common sense, but when you get in a hurry, you start to forget this stuff, is to get them, before you even apply the glue, your adhesive, get them to try it in, bite down, and remember where the anterior portion of this um, triple tray is so you have an idea a reference point that when you have this thing full of your stuff and everyone's excited to take your final impression that you bite down and boom there it is so and I'm just using this to make just for an example for this morning now one of the things I was taught was when you're placing your adhesive place it only on the plastic rim and Probably the main reason why is because what will happen is that folks will start co painting the entire um, perforation site and then what happens is as you need to let this dry for at least 10 minutes to become effective as an adhesive not a separator because what happens is it's still, still wet and nothing sticks to it when it's wet. So coat everything here, try to get, get it on the perforations. So if you fill up the perforations, essentially nothing's going to, you don't have it, you're decreasing the retention. So let it set for 10, eight to 10 minutes. I mean, that's good enough for now. And then you have the other style, which is sort of the mesh. I don't know what that is. I think it's a mesh. I don't know what they call that. So same thing, just keep it on the, the rim of the tray and that will prevent uh, from sealing this right off. Let it set for 10 minutes, because as one of my, our instructors says, uh, adhesive that's not set, it acts as a separator. And it's very true, it's still slippery. So let it set for 10 minutes, and off you go. So that's it, cheers.